brother Al and other members of your family, in fact, you've been, you've been guides probably at various times. And my sense of it is that you kind of started your career as guides, but after you showed me that lure you just showed me, I think it's possible that you, you guys actually started your career as tackle inventors, maybe. I want you to go yeah, ahead yeah. and tell me what the real story actually, is. Actually, the career started tournament fishing. And uh, we started in the early, well, in the mid-60s already, there was a tour called the World Series of Fishing that was taken part. It would take place all across uh, the United States, and you would qualify for a state like Illinois, Wisconsin would bring their person, Texas would bring theirs. So we did fish tournaments, and... Uh, these were early, actually they would be, today they would be described as derbies, more as opposed to, to purely tournaments. Al, in fact, when he was, I guess he was 17 years old, won the Hayward Muskie uh, Championship. And for that, he was paid $80. And that $80, back in those days, would be the equivalent of probably... 500 or 700 today. And that was a big deal to him at that time. He says, you know, wow, if I can do this fishing, maybe I can do this full time. And actually, as it turned out, other than his stint in Vietnam, the only work he has ever done has been fishing related. Now, that runs the gamut of things from lure manufacturer to guide to promoter, uh, to TV uh, host, etc. But it, whatever his work was was directly fishing related. Ever since that time in Hayward, Wisconsin, when he won the uh, the Hayward Muskie Championship, he was what, very young at the time. What about yourself? Does your career have a? a well, it parallels his. I I kind of latched onto him. I says, this kid's got it. Maybe we can do some. I love the fish. And I became real interested. I must have been about 28 years old at the time. And uh, uh, really started, we started making lures. In fact, we were making lures before Lindy Tackle. It was the Linder Lure Company. There was a precursor to this. And we were making them in the basement in Chicago. And I expressed to my wife one time, I'll never forget this, I says, if I could make $10,000 a year and work in the fishing business, and that was kind of open, I would be the happiest person in the world. Well, there's a long story that I won't even go into there, but uh, that part of the dream did come true. And one of the steps along the way was guiding.